So today I'm going to be treating the knee with the Endo Laser 120. I'm using a cluster probe. This is a four point cluster probe, 400 milliwatts, although I won't be using the full 400 milliwatts. I'll only be using 200 milliwatts today. We're going to come into clinical protocols and then just look down until we see the knee. It says medial knee arthritis. It's the same if you're doing the inside, the outside of the knee, it doesn't really matter. You'll see here it says we've got to do eight points. What that means is we've got a cluster with four laser diodes in it. And to get eight points, we're going to have to do two spots. So four plus four. So we're going to be moving the probe, in other words. Joules per point is going to be four joules per centimetre squared. That would be in line with the Walt guidelines. Total joules per session, 32 joules. So it's going to be 40 seconds. Obviously, it's going to be divided by two because we're going to do two spots. So 20 and 20. And we've got four times 200 milliwatts. If you were using the 100 milliwatt probe, it would simply look like this. Four times 100 milliwatts. And of course, the time would double. We're going to use the slightly stronger one today. Once we press OK, we're ready to apply this to the patient. So, seen from the patient's perspective, we're going to be doing two spots here with the laser. So, we're going to be doing a spot on the joint line here, and then a spot further round on the joint line here, sort of missing the patella tendon. So, we're going to start the laser and do our first spot. When you're going for the joint, you're best to try and get the laser into the joint if you possibly can. There would be an argument for using a single probe because the joint's not that wide. I prefer to use a, uh, or the joint space is not that wide. I prefer to use a cluster uh, just because it covers a bigger area. That's point one. And I prefer to have the knee bent. So you see here, I've got the knee bent. Uh, that opens up the anterior joint line allowing more of the laser to get in. You can do this on a normal clinic bed by just putting a towel underneath the uh, back of the patient's knee. Some people have preformed sponge rollers to do that. They're fine as well. I wouldn't keep the knee completely flat as you do this. You don't have to have it bent to 90 degrees as I do here, although that does really open out the joint a bit more. Um, you can actually do it with the patient sat over the edge of the bed and that will give you the sort of the 90 degrees and then you can sit on a chair in front of the patient to do the treatment. So that's the end of the treatment there, as you can see, pretty quick. Uh, it's a good treatment and we'll see you back at the laser. Applying this treatment to the patient, you'll see that the applied jewels is counting up and the amount of time is counting down. This is a very popular treatment to give. Uh, the literature is... Uh, Fairly extensive on treating arthritis. That's the first spot done. We'll move to the second spot. Within the literature, most of the articles centre around the joints and, of course, the knee being the most popular one. If you're looking at the articles as a whole, overwhelmingly there's support for reduction in pain using the laser, although those reductions in pain and that's the end of the treatment. Although those reductions in pain are just that, reductions in pain, uh, not a cure for the arthritis, obviously.